So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I wanted to show you a before and after on the massive nerf they have applied to these perfume bottles. It is utterly devastating. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the latest patch, if you haven't seen already, drastically nerfed or say they well they say they fix bugs in regards to perfume bottles there's two perfume bottles in question here we have their frenzied flame perfume bottle as a as well as a lightning perfume bottle something about they're accidentally doing double the damage they should be doing and have nerfed them this that, and the other now i come on i tried and tested them and i'm telling you guys they are absolutely useless now now you'll see my old build on the screen i actually uploaded this to youtube i may as well take it down because people are going to see that and think yeah actually this is quite good uh, uh, uh. trying it now post patch it is utterly garbage now we are on the exact same build here you're seeing perfume by all level 25 we're using the giant seal which is actually one up from the one i was using in my last video i'm also using the rat chaser armor which gives me more attack damage than what i was using in my other video yeah uh, but the exact same talismans the same tiers in my wondrous physic and we come into one of the same enemies i will test the build out and i'm just going to go up behind him i'm going to apply all my buffs i'm going to get closer to him and apply my buffs right next to him so for sure none of them run out so let's just do this guys we may as well start with the tears because they last three minutes uh then we use the golden valve because that lasts i think 90 seconds so we may as well just charge this up as much as we can we're going to use the howl of shibiri and give us give ourselves that madness to kick in our talisman and our helm that we are wearing and you'll see guys that it just doesn't do anything anymore it legit just doesn't do anything anymore so i'm just going to run up to him as usual lock onto his leg use my ash ward i have a sign to it <laughs> oh my day it's like my new player it's like I'm a new player using a new, new build and it's just not doing anything. This was one shotting before. Basically one shotting. Now if you, if you swear at the floor, it doesn't even do anything anymore. I mean, oh my days, people. I'm getting slapped by a dude I could one shot before. I mean, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's move on to the next guy now. Boy also used the one slap. Let's run around here and see what he does to me. <laughs> I was going to go to bigger, bigger enemies within the DLC area, but I just I tried it here and I thought, yeah, this is just... I mean, it's just not doing anything. It's just not doing anything. I don't need to test it anywhere else. It's just... I mean, it's just garbage. Oh, man, I wanted these perfume bottles to be good as well. Well, they were good while they were lasted, but hey. I mean, yeah. And the lightning perfume bottle people is absolutely no different whatsoever same thing in fact i think that was hit even harder than the frenzied flame uh, but on this i am using the ash of war i can't even remember what it's called now it's called the rolling sparks eventually come to me but yeah guys they've nerfed it into the ground <laughs> oh my days poor perfume bottles poor users of these poor people thinking of getting away with it. a great op build and then from software come along and nerf it into the ground but there we have it guys the before and after of perfume bottles and the damage output they do guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one